Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Dog Special. The history of the Papillon is traced through works of art. The earliest toy spaniels resembling the Papillon are found in Italy. Tiziano Vaselli, known in English as Titian, painted these small dogs in many famous paintings beginning around 1500. Other well-known artists who included them in paintings are Watto, Gonzalez Caquez, Fragonar, Paolo Veronese and Mignard. The little spaniels were favorite companions of court ladies throughout Europe. With admirers like Madame de Pompadour, Louis XIV, and Marie Antoinette, whose pap was named Fispy, the breed's French connection is strong. Paps were developed in Renaissance times by crossing existing toy breeds with spaniels, in keeping with the era's mania among nobles for miniaturized versions of their favorite breeds. The early toy spaniels from which the Papillon descended had drop ears. Toward the end of the 19th century, breed fanciers bred a version of the spaniel whose ear stood up. This dog was nicknamed Papillon. The word Papillon, meaning butterfly, refers to the breed's fringed upright ears, which resemble a butterfly's outspread wings. Besides the ears, the only other major change in the breed's appearance was in color. Originally the little spaniels were solid colored, but these days they are white with patches of color. The drop-eared variety still exists. It is known as faline, which means moth. Both types are still bred today and appear in the same litter. The breed was popular in France and Belgium, which are considered countries of origin by the FCI. Other names by which the breed has been known over the centuries include Epignol named Continental, Continental Toy Spaniels, Little Squirrel Dogs, because their full, plume tail resembled that of a squirrel, or Belgian Toy Spaniels. The Papillon is an elegant toy dog of fine bone structure, harmonious build, light, and dainty. Distinguished from other breeds by its beautiful butterfly-like ears. Its head is in proportion to the body and proportionally lighter and shorter than the Spaniels of large or medium size. The skull is of medium width and slightly rounded between the ears. A well-defined stop is formed where the muzzle joins the skull. The muzzle is fine, abruptly thinner than the head, tapering to the nose. Their eyes are rather large, well open, almond-shaped, and not prominent. These are dark in color, very expressive, and set rather low in the head. The ears of either the erect, papillon, or drop, phalene type should be large with rounded tips and set on the sides and toward the back of the head. Its nose is black, small, rounded, and slightly flat on top. Their tail is long, set high, and carried well arched over the body with the extreme tip touching the back. The tail is covered with a long, flowing plume. The coat is abundant, long, and silky. The hair is short on the face, the muzzle, the front of the legs, and the underneath part of the hock. Unlike other long-haired breeds, the pap has no undercoat or biannual shed, and its long tresses do not mat easily. The appearance of the coat is similar to that of the English Toy Spaniels, but it differs definitely from that of the Pekingese Spaniel. Always party color or white with patches of any color. On the body and legs, the white must be dominant in relation to the color. On the head, a color other than white must cover both ears, back, and front, and extend without interruption from the ears over both eyes. A clearly defined white blaze and noseband are preferred to a solidly marked head. Among the colors there is no preference provided the nose, eye rims, and lips are well pigmented black. The average shoulder height of both males and females ranges from 8 to 11 inches, 20 to 28 centimeters, and weight ranges from 4 to 10 pounds, 1.5 to 4.5 kilograms. They have a life expectancy of between 12 and 16 years. The required level of physical activity is medium to low. Despite all that long, flowing hair, papillon, are surprisingly low maintenance when it comes to grooming. The coat is not prone to matting, but should be combed and brushed once or twice a week to distribute the natural skin oils and keep the hair and skin healthy. The papillon does not have a doggy odor, so bathe them only as needed. You will want to keep an eye on their nail length, especially their dew claws, 
as they can curl around and pierce its leg. If you can hear them clicking on the floor, they are too long. Although they grow up to be sturdy little dogs, Papillon puppies can be fragile. They can easily break a leg soaring off the back of the sofa or jumping off the bed, so try to avoid such situations. Regarding exercise, adults need 2 or 3 20 to 30 minute walks or play times per day. Start puppies with 2 or 3 10 to 15 minute walks and gradually increase the time and distance. Puppy or adult, they will let you know if they are getting tired by stopping or sitting. Papillon are generally outgoing, happy dogs that enjoy sitting in laps as much as they like running around the house. Although lively and energetic, they are not considered high-strung, nervous, or fearful, and they do not bark excessively. Compact, bright, and highly adaptable, the Papillon is a great companion for just about any setting. They are gentle and friendly enough to be good companions for seniors, they are small enough to make apartment living a breeze, and they are smart and affable enough to get along with other animals. Papillon get along well with cats and other dogs if they are socialized from an early age. And multi-dog homes are a great way to keep the Papillon from developing separation anxiety if their human is out of the house for extended periods. While Papillon can make excellent family dogs, great care should be taken around small children. Papillon are harder than they look, but they are still very small bone dogs and can easily be hurt by children playing too rough. Always teach children how to approach and touch dogs and always supervise any interactions between them. Papillon are incredibly smart dogs and can learn basic commands and tricks quickly. Their keen minds, coupled with their athletic desires, also make them excellent choices for agility or rally coursework in competitions. Continental Toy Spaniels are generally healthy, but like all breeds, they are prone to certain health conditions. It is important to be aware of them if you are considering this breed. Patella Luxation The patella is a small bone that is housed in a groove located in the femur, at the level of the knee. This is essential for the perfect functioning of the limb. Patella Luxation means that the patella comes out of this groove, called the trochlea. Progressive Retinal Atrophy PRA, is a degenerative eye disorder. Blindness caused by PRA is a slow process, resulting from the loss of photoreceptors at the back of the eye. This is detectable years before the dog shows signs of blindness. Open Fontanelle Papillon are born with a soft spot on the top of their head. Usually, the soft spot closes, much like a baby's will, but sometimes one will not close fully. An accidental blow to that spot on the head could kill a papillon. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.